Hoi hoi. It has been a while, has it not? It has been six days, basically. Nope. It has been a week. Dang. Sorry about that. Um. You know, light life just gotten in the way, and. Yeah, things things have taken a uh, back burn. So, exactly a week ago, I was freaking out. Uh, well, not freaking out. I was I was upset. Um, so that was my birthday week. And uh, was really hoping uh, that I get somewhere under 300 because I was really expecting to be uh, up there again. Uh, but much to my surprise, I was actually at 285, which is seven pound drop from the week before. And I'm really confused about that. I don't know how that works. Um, but well, at the time I didn't, and then I researched. Um, Apparently, if you if you're starting to plateau, what you need to do is you need to go out and eat a big meal, and, and just have just splurge for a little bit. And for some reason, your body goes like, Vroom, and then takes it all out with it. Um, now, sadly, um, with that has come what I think right now, and I, you know, I did this a week ago, and I don't know if this is happening again. Is that I feel like I've come a a bit more, a bit complacent again, and, uh, that, that's the only problem I'm really having with this is, uh, is right now, and I'm committed to it, but the pro the problem is, um, right now what the problem is, is portion control, uh, so I need to start getting back at that, counting what I'm having and, uh, recording that and keeping that in portion control, um, because recently, I mean, I haven't, I've been making the better choices with what to eat, the problem is how much of that should I be eating. Uh, so again, tomorrow I'm predicting uh, a gain. In fact, a fairly large gain. I won't be surprised if I'm around 300 again because that weight gains back so quickly. Because uh, a lot of it is salt and water retention. So, he says as he drinks more water. <coughs> um, yeah, so, so that's just, um, that's basically what I'm thinking right now. Uh, so cool. Again, catch-up episodes. I decide not to do uh, do everything that's that's going on. Um, so I'm just gonna cover the main stuff. I have uh, it's Easter, so there's chocolate everywhere. I've been trying my best to stay away, but sometimes mini eggs get the best of me, and I just have to accept that. Uh, my mom made homemade burgers a couple days ago, uh, and those are delicious. So. Um, I had two of those, and the burgers were pretty. They were pretty big. They were ball size, like they were. They were sort of ball burgers. Uh, they were pretty good. They were very good. Um, but I definitely ate. I went overboard there. Uh, today, I went overboard with my uh, with my dinner, um, which was spaghetti, biscotti. No, it, w it was fettuccine with blush sauce, and I had two bowls, which is much more than than two thirds of a cup. There's a plastic bag beside me, and it's crinkling by itself. Stop it. Um, last night, I went overboard with dinner again. It, it seemed, okay, so so now, actually just talking this through, it seems right now that dinner is the big, uh, it's the big one that goes over. Um, so there, there are, uh, something I need to look at is dinner. Uh, I need to start taking very light dinners. Um, and then when I do have light dinners, not going for big desserts either. So, cause I mean, you, you're, you, I shouldn't even really be having like chocolate desserts. I should probably just have a fruit or, uh, veggies and dip or something. Uh, cause that would be the healthier alternative to, um, well, I'm not really making bad choices for dessert, but still there, there are better choices always unless, no, yeah, there's always better choice unless you make the best choice, which is almost impossible. So, still waiting on hearing from uh, York and Ryerson. You know, I, uh, I've i got a 93 average. Uh, I'm not expecting to get a declination. De not expecting to be declined. Uh, even if I'm just accepted to campus, that's a huge thing. Um, so, I mean, I'm not worried. That's basically what I'm saying, is that I've got good marks. 
I have amazing extracurriculars. I've got almost 200 community service hours out of 40. Like, I've gone that far beyond. Not worried. Should be worried. I haven't applied for any scholarships yet. They're due in a couple days. I should do those. Yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Uh, well, that's fun. Um, just finished doing a huge 16-page uh, report for co-op, and that's that's another thing that that is uh, taking these logs away from me. But, um, you know, tomorrow, way in Wednesday, I'm going to make it official. I'm going to be taking the picture in the morning. I'm going to be doing all that. But I'm expecting to be around 295. Let's let's say that. Let's say 295 is my uh, idea for tomorrow. Which, you know, it's not exactly... Um, it's not what I'd choose. I'd like to be down, but, you know, some... You just gotta learn, and I think Rob Reno has taught me that, is, you know... If you're trying to make the better choices, you, you, you don't need to worry so much... You know, what's my weight this week? What's my weight this week? It's just developing a new relationship with food, and that's what I'm trying to do. And that's, you know, the hardest part is that transition. And, I mean, I'm still in the first five months. I'm, I'm not even at six months yet. I'm, so, that that that's the, uh, that's the move um, that I'm still trying to make. And, I mean, this is a lifelong commitment. And four months out of the rest of my life is less than 1%, I hope. Um... So yeah, uh, this week I'm planning to go out and get some uh, rollerblades um, because I'd like to get more active in that way. And once I get down to a more reasonable weight, I'm always I'm really jealous of the people on longboards. But right now I think at my size I don't want to get on a longboard for risk of a embarrassment by breaking it in case, which would be I'd be a huge strike to my ego. Um, I just I mean rollerblades are pretty practical, especially when I'm going to Toronto next year. I'll just get me from point A to point B in a not-so-ridiculous manner. Although I'll feel really cool if I'm wearing a suit and rollerblades. But, you know. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, even though this video is about a minute and a half over my my new deadline. Um, thanks for watching. Slancha. Have a good night. And I will talk to you tomorrow on my way in Wednesday.